faggot? A 16th century English term derived from the Latin word facis, meaning bundle of sticks, originally used to degrade old women who collected firewood and find that they were awkward and a burden. Today, faggot is a derogatory term used mainly towards homosexual men and women. Suicide is the leading cause of death among gay and lesbian youth. It hides in the darkness underneath our beds, filling our sheets with smoke, suffocating us, and whispering goodbye in voices sounding a lot like yours. The divide is being cut down into one dimension by the backs of our teeth as we are forced to be silent and continue in the cultivation of a society dreaming of our destruction. Chained in our concentration closets, we light candles to those brave enough to quit and leave this world behind. I know that may sound like a misrite, but in paradise, we're locked inside the barrel of a gun and ask you to shoot when you say no. Yet, I'd be wrong to hold the treatment of gays today next to that of blacks during slave times or Jews during the Holocaust and call them one and the same. A suicide initiated by the brutality of others is not a suicide. It's a murder. I know because I feel pain. Every attempt of my own murder on my lips. I still wear it safe, so feet and scarred along my skin. The term bad is not a word at all. It's a weapon. Part of this story is that the shots fall silent to everyone's ears but the ones you hit. It does not seem like enough to tell you or anyone else to think before they speak. Maybe we should start making you answer for your genocide. Maybe we should bang on your door carrying the corpses of every fallen soldier slain in this war we did not choose. Why must we endure a war to gain our right to exist? Why must we be our sexualities and only our sexualities? Because we think and frame breathe and rainbows walk, talk, and live in a tiny skittles colored universe. It's funny how Shrek, a fictional ogre, can understand that people have layers, but you can't. Neil Patrick Harris is gay before he is a Tony Award winner, a Broadway sensation, a television star. It matters more that Ellen DeGeneres is lesbian than it does that she advocates for endless charity organizations. When will society stop seeing us as a charity organization? Desire to be loved and love someone else is not a disease. It is not a genetic disorder. Life has more colors than any flag you wave, but instead of trying to see them, you beat us in the very Bible you're supposed to be reading. Your homophobia, born epidemic, and our desire to coexist, and I'm just gay, then you're just an asshole. Yeah!